There are still a few paths over here. Ah, oh, we've been here. Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. So we should go this way. Oh, one of these days. One of these days. to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that? <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, hey. I am quite sure I am not a goose. <laughs> That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? We do have a really serious bridge problem here, don't we? You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. No, it's been oh, changed. Father, my memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. Whoa. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. Sure. Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. Oh. For too long have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry. We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting, but Ophi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. <laughs> what are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Oh. Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Ew! Ew! I don't want to blow on that! Happy trails! Waddle back briskly, Goosey! Ophie is starving! So we gotta get him some food. But we only have one coin! That is a problem. That's a really serious problem. Uh, Bitterroot. We saw Bitterroot earlier, but we couldn't harvest it. Could we give some free samples to Ulfi? Hmm. Do we need some tool to harvest it? Is that the problem? We'll have to find out when we get there. Let me ask the... The chef again. 
Is the door closed? Yep, the door is closed. Hey, we could totally go back to that well. With the... the shiny axe that we can buy. Yes, lad. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But, which ingredient? Oh, I thought he meant that he needed a gold coin to tell me where the things are, but I do have... I have the... Never mind. I have the ingredients. What was your advice again? Think with your heart and not with your brain or your biceps. That's the knight I want to see in King Edward's royal court. Hmm, my heart. How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. Yeah. But I can't get the rock moving. Good day. Aren't you glad you came here today? I'm okay. Would you like some ingredients? I don't know if I want to give you the gold coin, though. Wow. These sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, She's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Which I'm guessing we can feed Ulfie with. But we're so poor right now, we only have one coin. So I really gotta make sure it's what I want. The bell. Who can I give the bell to? Is it the, the couple here? Oops. Bells are always good for a distraction or two. Oh, did you take it? We won't take your money until we've done the job. Bring us something to house that candle, then we'll happily take your money. Like some type of utensil. Some type of bowl, right? I don't think I've come across that yet. Mm, I could get the pie, but I kind of also want the weapon so I can... Oh, I can't open that. If I open that, the lady's gonna get mad at me. That's not good. And we can't climb over the wall here. Oh no, oh no! Uh... Okay. We could go outside, but I think... Yeah, if you go outside, it's gonna register it. Mm. Can I give you the bell? Hey, Graham. That didn't need a bell. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? Not yet. No, I decided I wasn't ready to jump head first into this problem just yet. Um... I think I'll just get the pie. Yeah... It's just unfortunate that we only have one coin, but you gotta just make do with what you got. Can I have the pie, please? Did you figure out what you want to order? The bitter root, though. How do we get... Hmm. Okay, how do I order your pie? Today, have a sweet time. Ha ha ha. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie. I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two. Whoa! Or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Wow. Well, I hope this pie will serve as good. Alfie, please, I only have one coin. You gotta help me, man. The key to becoming a king is to win people's hearts over, right? So if I can get the bridge trolls on my side, <laughs> that might be pretty good. 
We haven't seen a Chaka around, or Manny. We've seen Whisper. We've seen Acorn, but not the other two. So the bridge troll is right here. Hey, Elfie. Oh, I keep doing that wrong. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. <laughs> Olfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. Wow. Earthquake! Oh! It's all yours now. Thank you. Whisper can do it. No! Oh uh, fret not, Goosey. It is the two-eyed snarling Snarlax after all. London bridges falling down. Oh, I uh, mm, Ophie has a new plan. First, we'll then you'll then I'll. But first, you'll need this. Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. A mouthpiece from his butt. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, night hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. He's got the entire thing. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Oh. What are you going to do, Graham? Oh. Is Ulfia a hideous beast? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes! Is this hideous enough for you? <laughs> um, yes. This is... Uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome to the tournament! Yay! That troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. You know, like your cousin Hilda. Yeah! Take that and that! Oh. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. <laughs> You're just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's dance instead. Twirling and best friends and twirling. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Is that Graham's wife? Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. Ha <laughs> ha. You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. 
The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. I'm with Whisperer. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Uh-oh. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373713467378 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Oh. Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! All right. I'm with Whisper. Which did you tackle first? The duel of speed or the duel of strength? Ah, oh, it's separated. Welcome to the knight's tourney. Speed, strength. So first round, I'm against Whisper. Second round, I'm against Acorn. And then it's just two people left. Fuck my mattress. <laughs> what happened to her mattress? Who took it? Oh, God. Um... Can we choose, or is that something we just pick later? Oh! Whisper! Now why would we need that? Could we change it? Huh. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with it, for the moment. Hmm. Okay. Well, if that guy's in the woods... Hang on. I hope someone chopped away the thorns then, because otherwise, how am I getting through? And what about keeping the door shut? Oh no... Got any good tips for me? Can I borrow your axe? I heard some guards gossiping, and I have to say, I'm impressed that you did not back down from that massive troll. A picnic, however, is disgraceful. They need to get back to work, not have tea parties. Sorry. Please be careful, these items are sharp. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. That I don't have. Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. There's a lot of different approaches to how I can do this. And when I do one of them, the other one is locked out, which is really cool, actually. Okay, well, if he's at the well, I gotta open this, even if the lady doesn't want me to. Hopefully I can get back in time to close it, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Ah! I see, okay. That works. Achaka? I don't have a tool. I can't get to him. I don't think that's gonna. An overgrown patch. Ah, oh, this again. The spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. How can I get through? No, I think I'll keep this. On the bright side, we have the mouthpiece, so we might be able to go to places that maybe we couldn't go to before? If we go back this way, that'll just be outside of where we came from. The merchant shouldn't be here. Eh, I guess I'll go back and have a look. Anybody here? No! 
There's no log here anymore. We can take the shortcut. Well, I'm not sure how to get to Achaka because we don't have money. We just don't have that money. Maybe we can get money some other way. Oh, yeah, no one. All right. <laughs> I have to climb over every single time. That's okay. Mm. Maybe we should talk to the people again. Oh, Graham! A little squirrel told me the news. <laughs> I couldn't be more delighted. It's not often someone takes my advice around here. I'm happy you're a customer, but I'd like to call you a friend as well. Oh, <laughs> great job! What happened to you? Did you figure out what you want to order? What happened to your face? Oh, <laughs> can you tell? Am I blushing? <gasps> oh! I'm engaged, Graham! My love, Bramble, said yes! Oh, that's, that's great. Congratulations. D I, I was actually talking about the welts. Ah, those, uh, are stings from some very angry bees. They try to ruin our night. But I wouldn't let them. Nothing can come between us and our love. You keep doing you, Wenty. Do you have any advice for an aspiring knight? Think with your heart and not oh, with this your again. brain or your biceps. That's the night I want to see in King Edward's royal court. Good day. Don't get in any rhubarbs. Hmm, doesn't look like he has anything new for me. And I still can't get any bitter root because I can't move the rock. Oh, could I get Ulfie to help me? I wonder. Or maybe Acorn. I don't really know who's strong enough otherwise around here. Oh look! It's Graham, the soft of heart. The wannabe knight with a heart of gold. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. It was an alternative way to go, not as clever as what we would have cooked up, but you made a new friend. I guess that counts for something. He just thought a smart guy like you could solve the challenge without any assistance from big, silly animals. Just be careful. Around here, compassionate people get taken advantage of. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. <laughs> now, Chester, can you hand me the frog's breath elixir? Frog's breath elixir? Yes. Uh, where is that? <laughs> uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. I never even used your free dip even once. That's actually kind of a shame. The prototyping phase was over. No more free dips. Oh, I completely forgot about it. So the frog. We still can't catch it because we're not fast enough. That's a problem. And nobody wants to give me money. I still can't get the bitter root. Things are just not working out very well. What about the pumpkin? Can I do anything about this? That didn't need a bell. It's still squirrel infested. 
that pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Fine, fine. Ooh. What is that? A fruit picker. Could I... No. There's no fruits left. Could I use a fruit picker to get a frog? Sounds like it could be a thing. Is Whisper still here? No, I can't. Hang on. Can I get closer? I can't seem to act on him. Oh, I can't do anything about After him. After trying for hours to catch those frogs, I was exhausted and thought I was going to croak. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> okay. And I can't use a picker like this, can I? Nope. Dang, what can I do? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! This is a thing. That mouthpiece was a mismatch for that horn. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought so, because he mentioned that only one each bridge has its own guard. Aww. So that's here. What's going on in here? Ooh. You poked? I did not poke that. That didn't need <laughs> a bell. I don't know what's going on in there. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, you know. Taking the old lady out dancing. Yes. You've been working on your night moves? You know it. I'm all about the nightlife. Ho <laughs> Hey guys. Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theater when you're ready for the duel of speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? Triumph! Do you smell syrup? No? Have you gotten his release form signed yet? No. Oh, I have to admit. I am starting to become a fan. What? He didn't do anything. Please remove that from these premises. <laughs> oh, the Queen loved music. King Edward strung all those bells to remind us all. How did you get that? I thought those were all removed. Got it from a troll's butt. <laughs> Literally. Well, all right. Doesn't seem like there's too much here. We need a steed and there's no triumph here. So we can't do anything here. <laughs>